Hi, my name is Nikki, and I'm a food blogger. A long time ago, in the 90s, I used to be a Girl Scout. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Caramel Delight Air Fryer Cookies. Don't they look delicious? Let's go. First, you're going to roll out refrigerated crescent roll dough, and you're going to press on the seams to make one sheet. So when your dough comes out of the package, it may be in one, two, or three pieces, but the goal is to press on all the seams and put it together to make one sheet. You can also use a rolling pin to do the same thing, just like this. Then you're gonna take a knife and you're going to cut right down the middle lengthwise. And then you're gonna make a series of three cuts. One in the center to make four pieces. One in the middle of your left side to make four more pieces. And one in the middle of the right side. And then you're gonna get your caramel delights. And open up your package and you're just going to need eight cookies. And you put one down in each square. And then you're going to fold each corner of, of each piece of dough over each cookie. And you want to overlap the ends of the dough over one another, encasing the cookie completely in the refrigerated crescent roll dough, just like this. And then turn it over to show that you have completed each cookie. And you're gonna fold it just like this. And then, if you feel like having a little bit of fun, you can take something like strawberry jam and put it over the center of the hole, or some chocolate chips, or even marshmallow fluff, and spread it over the hole of your caramel delight. And then, you can still fold the dough over the cookie, just like this, encasing your filling and the cookie in the refrigerated crescent roll dough. Look at that. Look at that cute little package. That was easy, wasn't it? And I just wanted to tell you, if you don't have an air fryer, that is okay too. You can just put it in the oven. So in your air fryer, spray each package down and then set your temperature 375 for 10 minutes. Halfway through, you want to flip each one over so each side gets golden brown. And then lastly, when you're done, you just want to sprinkle a shower of powdered sugar over each cookie. Look at that. It looks like fresh fallen snow, doesn't it? I love this part. It's my favorite. Actually, it's my second favorite part. Look at them. Oh my gosh. They're so nice. So this right here is definitely my favorite part. Cutting it open and seeing what's inside. Look at that. So if you want more recipes, go to nicksnacksonline.com.